everyone, it is I, Reed Public Sets, here with another Top 10 LEGO Star Wars A New Hope minifigures that have ever been made. Now, I am continuing the series. I want to cover nearly every area of LEGO Star Wars. I want to do one from each movie, and I want to, even after that, go further and do best bounty hunters, best clone trippers. So if you want to stay continued and up to date with this series, just remember to subscribe. And let's get into our first pick right away. Now, I bet you thought we would not have a Tatooine Luke on this list, but we do. It is not only Tatooine Luke. It is Luke with a poncho. Now, this is about the 20th version of Luke from Tatooine. We've gotten so many over the last 20 years. We got just five just last year, which is absurd, quite frankly. Uh, so I chose this one over all of them because it's really neat. Um, so he came in one Lego set. He came back in a Landspeeder set, and he was the only real shining gem of that set. Uh, his figure is pretty basic. It came out in loads of sets. It came in the Cantina. It came in a bunch of other things, and by the way, this list will have loads of sets from figures from the Cantina. Uh, the main feature and draw here is obviously the poncho. The poncho is a really nice little you know piece. I like the black or the brown printing on it. Just an overall fun figure. Not much else to say about it. The printing on Luke obviously looks fine. It's nothing special at all in the slightest. He does come with a sniper rifle, which is neat. Um, but no nothing much else other regarding this figure. Now let's move into number nine. So we just, uh, it is just going to transform right from that one. It's going to get, like, fantastic from now on. So at number nine, we have Moma Nadin, or the Ithorian guy. So this guy is really cool. I call them T-necks because they have a neck that's shaped like a T. Um, so first off, this guy's really cool because he has some toe printing. That's a pretty rare thing, especially for these types of creatures. They didn't have to do toe printing, but they did. It looks fantastic. I really like the way they have those little toes there. Um, he also has a nice little scarf. And obviously the beautiful thing about him is his head mold. Now, the Ithorian piece, which I believe there was a Jedi named Randy from like the Yoda Chronicles. Um, we had not seen that piece forever. And this figure got to be like around $80. And then they finally released him in the Cantina. And we could all have our own Ithorian. I luckily already owned the previous one. But this is just going to be a nice one. So I could have my alien army. I love aliens. And you're going to notice that theme throughout this list. They made a fantastic aliens. And again... The Cantina has some of the best figures in all of LEGO Star Wars, let alone New Hope. So that's what's going to make this list very, very difficult on me. Um, but anyway, this is a beautiful figure. came out back in 2020 in the Cantina. Let's move into number eight. We actually have a figure from the Tantive Four, and it is Captain Antilles from the 2019 Tantive Four, which is right behind me, actually. Now, Captain Antilles obviously came in only one set. We've gotten an older version of him, but I thought this version was better. Uh, he comes with no leg printing, which I thought was kind of disappointing, but obviously he's great. One of my favorite features of Captain Antilles is how he has, like, an alternate face of him getting choked by Darth Vader, and he's, like, all scared, and I, I absolutely love that. I wish they would like, you know, sweat drilling down. Like, that would be just fantastic to put an Imperial officer if you have Darth Vader, if you want to swap that out. Um, but anyway, the printing is beautiful, obviously. The Rebel Helmet is great. Captain Antilles, I love the guy. Sad what happened to him. He's the first named character to die in Star Wars, I guess. Um, but beautiful, beautiful figure, beautiful character, love this thing. Let's move into number seven. At number seven, we have the 2014 style Greedo. Now, I don't know if this one's any different from the one that came in the Mos Eisley Cantina, but I sure do like it. Um, so he came with these nice neon, like, blue type color. Um, you know, he comes with a nice belt printing, and he has belt all, uh, his belt on his leg, printed on his legs. He has a nice orange jacket. I will say, I wish he had arm printing. There was an older version that had arm printing, and I was considering putting it on this list, but I like to have, like, the most modern and best-looking figures, and I think this overall looked better. Um, and this guy's just great. He came in the original, well, 2014 Cantina, and, you know, the, the head mold is fantastic. I believe it was modified from the original version, but it looks super cool. Poor Greedo, he got fried. Now let's move into number six. Here we have another figure from the 2014 Cantina. Like, 90% of the figures I feel like in the set are from a Cantina of some sort. But this is the Sand Trooper with his Black Pauldron Ammo Pouch Dirt Stain Survival Pack. That, that, that's what it's called. Uh, but yeah, so he came out back in the original Cantina in 2014. He is beautiful looking. I love this guy. I have it in my own. I love the 2014 design of Stormtrooper so much. Like, if they literally kept that design for the new uh, Cantina... I would have chosen it, but, you know, I just love the old helmet design. It looks perfect. Like, that was the peak Stormtrooper helmet. Um, so, yeah, this guy's great. I love his side pauldron. The back build is all nice and dandy. It has, like, lightsabers uh, as a build for the thing. Uh, you know, it has an cl angry clone head. Nothing super exciting, but I really just think it looks good, and it's coordinated well. The stain blotches, or the stand stain blotches look fantastic. 
And let's move into number five. At number five, we have Labria, or as I like to call him, Satan. Now, Satan here uh, looks great. I, I love Satan. Uh, or Carduce Moloch. Some people call him that, I guess. Um, so he, again, came in the Lego Star Wars Cantina set, which I'll probably do a review on later on this month. Um, beautiful figure. I love the gunmetal gray, um, you know, arms and, you know, torso mold. I think that looks fantastic. The leg color is great. The cape is fantastic. Uh, there's only ever been one of him ever made, which is really cool. And obviously the big thing here is the horns. That's a custom ear horn combo. Uh, it looks really good. I, again, love the aliens. Having all the different aliens, you know, it gets boring when you have humans in your, like, Star Wars collection. You just have nice diversity of aliens. It looks great. I love it. It really showcases Star Wars, and I really wish LEGO did more of these. Like, like throw one in every set. I don't care. LEGO needs to do it so that way you have a more cool-looking armies of minifigures or whatever. Now let's move into number four. At number four, I'm gonna have a pretty shocking one, but this is actually the Imperial crew member from the Star Destroyer, the UCA Star Destroyer. Now, why this one? Obviously, it goes for two reasons. First of all, the arm printing. That's the biggest reason. The arm printing on this one is absolutely fantastic. It's very rare. This was a weird wave of figures. Like, all the other ones have, like, clear best figures. But this this, this movie has a lot of subjective figures because there's been a lot of decent ones, but there haven't been, like the best figure ever. Like, none of them would make it on my top 10 Lego figures ever list. Um, but the printing on it is certainly neat. It feels very, uh, like, worn, and it feels like it's directly out of the movie, as opposed to, you know, other ones, like, say, if you were to get just a regular old officer, say, in the Imperial shuttle, it's just gonna feel very uniform and, like, Lego and action figure -y. This feels very real, uh, especially in the printing on the torso. Uh, and that's what I love about it. And honestly, the leg printing's great. You don't see it much with Imperial officers. So, which is why I absolutely love this one. And obviously, this is going to be an expensive boy, but he's still cool nonetheless. Let's move into number three. Now, at number three, we have Ponda Baba. Now, a lot of people probably thought that he was going to be higher. He isn't. Now, this is the problem I have with Ponda Baba, and I would have made him higher if they fixed this. His, like, butt chin just is too far down. I know it's weird. It's the same problem they're having, actually, with the new Echo figure coming out. It just droops down. Like, I don't know why they do this. They, they're fine with the other ones. I just think there are so many ways they could have done the mold better. I know they've done better before with their other themes. And it's honestly just disappointing. Other than that, it is nice to have the mold. Like, like the bottom half is good. But, but or the bottom half is bad. The top half is fantastic. The eyes, the way they have it all around his head. I own it now so I can say and on, say, give my piece on this. I think it looks good. I love the torso printing. It looks fantastic. They even have, like, a little gray neck area. I don't know if they were planning on originally having that as feature that could be seen. It just, I don't like the way it droops down onto his neck. It just doesn't look as good, but I still think he's better than a lot of the other figures from, say, before. It's just a very unique walrus man type feel. <laughs> Love the guy. Again, aliens are fantastic. Let's move into number two. Number two, I'm going to have another pretty controversial one. It's actually Princess Leia in her white de in her white dress. Now, this is from the Tanted Four originally, and it is also now in Luke Skywalker's X-Wing fighter. Um, so this one's great. It came out obviously back in 2019, two sets, uh, two different alternate faces. Just a nice figure, honestly. The dress piece is great. The torso printing is great. Uh, the hair is fantastic. I feel like, I don't know if they've been using this one. Like, I don't know if there's a newer mold from 2019. It just feels fantastic. I don't know if it's even the color. I know they've certainly darkened the hair, which makes it feel better than when it was the light brown. It's just a cool figure. Honestly, I love this version of Leia. It is probably... One of, if not the best, versions of Leia that we've gotten. I, I think it's time to get into our honorable mentions before we pick our number one best Lego Star Wars A New Hope minifigure. Now, for our honorable mentions, first off, we have the classic Gonk Droid. I wasn't going to go this whole episode without mentioning the Gonk Droid guy. I just wasn't. But I didn't want to put him on the list because people are going to be like, Oh, studs, he's not a like Gonk. Gonk Droid isn't, you know, a figure. Uh, next up, we also have General Dodonna, which came out this year in Luke's X-Wing. He looks awesome. He's just not that exciting of a figure, in my personal opinion, for him to make it on here. We have Leia in her celebration outfit. Uh, this is her. She came in in Y-Wing, I believe. Uh, and it looks decent. I just think it looks really cool. Just, you know, I think the other ones were all better on the list. Finally, we have Dr. Evazon. He looks great. If you want to use his headpiece for Wrecker, that would work really well because he's, you know, missing an eye. Uh, but he looks great. And now let's move into our number one pick. You guys all saw this coming, probably. It's Garadan, or the Imperial Spy, from the LEGO Star Wars games. This figure is really cool. When I opened him, it was like, whoa, that's really neat. I love the way how you have to first put down the little new mold that looks like the elephant trunk. He kind of looked like Gonzo from the Muppets, or like one of the, uh, you know, plague doctors. 
Um, so you put that piece down, then you put the you know head mold down. You don't see that, and then you put the the little hood over it, and it feels almost perfect. Like Lego coordinated that really well. Um, the torso printing is obviously nothing like, super exciting, but it's fine. The cape is great. Came out again in the cantina. Like most of the figures in the set came out in the in a cantina at least. It's just a really good set. I, I'd recommend anyone get it. It's really great. But yeah, so that is Garadan, or the Imperial Spy. I love this guy. He easily deserves number one spot. Certainly not the best figure, like, ever, but, you know, it's a nice variety. Like, most other things, they have their really high figures, like, really good figures and really bad ones. Every figure in the new Hope Boy lineup is kind of just, you know, on even ground. They're all really good. It's just, you know, pure, purely subjective. So yeah, I want to know what you guys think is the best LEGO Star Wars A New Hope minifigure, and what do you think I should do for the Empire Strikes Back one? Tell me all in the comments down below. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell, do all the other things. I'll see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out, and stay awesome.